Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I want to talk to you about a pretty controversial topic that is not discussed a lot, which is scams on Uniswap. Now, by scams, I mean people that list uh, and create new pools and list tokens and then either do a rock pool or they kind of change the smart contract of the token in a way that you buy and you're not able essentially to, to sell back and, and to get out of the pool and you end up putting your funds at risk. So, and I want to start here. Uh, this is Uniswapride.com. Most of you are probably familiar. You're probably users already. It's a tool that allows you, if you uh, want to interact with Uniswap and, 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 and really invest, to uh, manage your liquidity, to understand and decide which pools you, you may want to invest with. And this is exactly the pool section where you see uh, the yield, uh, expected yield of different pools. You can sort them by highest liquidity, highest yield. And uh, Sometime, maybe it happened to you uh, uh, already, uh, you know, you may have invested in a pool and you do all the analysis with Uniswap or I, you don't find the pool. So you get in touch, in touch with me and I kind of manually add the pool. Um, the reason why I do that is because I don't want to list and to fetch all the list of pools automatically from Uniswap and list everything. Uh, and I'm going to show you in a second why I, th I think this is a pretty dangerous and uh, it may put your funds at risk. Now, uh, the, the way I, I show you this is by using uh, dgraph.com. Now, dgraph.com is an incredible website and an incredible uh, API where which allow you to essentially query the blockchain. And I'm using also for the site. Now, they have different subgraphs and essentially what, what you, you guys are seeing here is a subgraph for Uniswap. And I created here a query that gives us basically all the new pools that have been created uh, since this timestamp here, which is probably just a few minutes ago, like five, 10 minutes ago. Now, if I click here on this play button, refresh, okay, there's no new pool being created, but there was actually one pool. This is this one, maybe before the end of the video, we can see if others have been created. Now, we can even like check what this is and um, just to put this in context again, this is a pool that have been created just a few minutes ago. And, um, you know, as we're going to see, there is like new pools being creating all, all created all the time. And when I go into new pool, there is not whatever recognized by user of there is this token alert. So, and, you know, we, we, we click on that. And essentially what, what we see here is whatever, a new pool, we can see the transaction here, you know, uh, created just two minutes ago. And there's a bunch of transactions going on. And uh, there is 27,000 liquidity uh, dollars worth of liquidity being pulled. Now, I don't know specifically in this case, this uh, ZVT token maybe is legit. Uh, or, or, or maybe it's not. Probably, actually, you know, the, the vast majority of this pool is not legit. I don't know, again, specifically about this token. But essentially what happened is some people create uh, uh, pools. Like, for example, in this case, they uh, created a token called ZVT. Let's assume it's not legit. Let's like assume for, for just one, one second, they just created this token ad hoc. And um, they also put in, you know, 370 ZVT. They also put in 38 um, Ethereum, Ether, and, uh, and they just created this pool. Now, what happened, and, and the kind of the malicious way to use Uniswap in this in this fashion uh, can can happen in, essentially in two ways. So either they create a pool, they wait some transaction to happen. Maybe some people find the pool and they start buying the token, and therefore, you know, because of the uh, <clears throat> curve of Uniswap, then the price that you know go, goes up and and, and the uh, the exchange uh, rate changes. And then after a while, they just remove the entire liquidity. So they do this sort of rug pull. And, um, you know, by removing the liquidity, everybody that bought the token doesn't find a counterpart to sell. And basically, they're stuck with the token and it's a net loss. They can't get out of the investment. Or the other, the other uh, thing that can happen is that they modify the smart contract of the token in a way that you buy, but then you're not you know, able essentially to get out of the investment to sell it back. For example, I've got just one example here of, uh, you know, a small quantity of a token that I bought just to show you guys. So for example, I bought this token called FAIR. And if we go on there, you know, on, on the page, it was created just whatever, less, probably less than an hour ago. I just bought it before I, well, um, recording this video. And then what happens is that they have 72,000 worth of liquidity. So it may seem even like a uh, you know, decent pool that is growing, 
But then when we're trying to, to sell these tokens and to click on approve fair, there's no way to approve. The reason is if we look in the console, there is an error in the smart contract. They, so they change the smart contract in a way that is not, you know, we're not able to approve the token back and, and therefore we're not going to be able to sell it. Uh, you know, there is a bunch of ways where you can uh, change the ERC20 smart uh, contract to do that. Either, you know, this fashion, another fashion, there are a few, few uh, tricks that you can do, but basically, you know, whoever bought this token is not going to be able to uh, to sell it back. And um, yeah, so so this is just a couple of, of things I wanted to uh, you know to describe to you guys just to, to show you what's going on. So and and the message is really like okay, being DJs and all the whatever yield farming and and uh, wildness, but be careful with your funds. Don't invest in tokens you, where you don't you know have certainty of their legitimacy. And check out Uniswap ROI for the, uh, you know, this list of tokens. These are really crowdsourced by you guys. So you, you know, each and every one of these token was suggested by the community. Um, there may be still some, some, uh, you know, I, I can't guarantee there is no, uh, there's a perfect uh, list. But, you know, I, I always invite you, especially for the, uh, you know, highest yield that have a lowest liquidity, always to check what's going on and you know to check exactly the smart contract make sure that the smart contract that is uh, reported here is exactly the smart contract that you interact uh, you know with the uniswap and so the kind of a double check and then for the highest liquidity that's pretty much you know the pools that we all know and and the token that you know everybody's familiar with so that's kind of a less less of a concern so this is this is it. Let's check here on, on the graph just to see. So, for example, okay, in the, in the last few minutes, there weren't really a lot of new uh, pools created, but I can guarantee you that you know every few minutes, sometime even the same, whatever five minutes you get, maybe you know uh, I don't know five six new pools created. So this is really what's happening behind the scenes. Be careful, and uh, if you have any question thoughts, as usual, please comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to you know uh, to watch content right on uniswap and DeFi. otherwise you feel free to connect with me at any time on telegram or, or on twitter you, you find the links in uniswap Pro. and until next time have a great time and talk soon